So I just got it back from watching Inside Out 2. Got blue one, like sadness, a different shade of blue, but blue nonetheless. My sister wore orange go in anxiety, just a little fun thing. I was never gonna watch it. I was like, okay, it's a good movie. I like the first one, um, but in, like the internet's building up, but I'll see it like, in like four months on Disney Plus. And then the internet blew up, and then the internet's like, wow, Inside Out 2 is like a perfect movie. I saw a thumbnail, it's like, is a movie too good that you will never watch it again? Um, you know, it perfectly captures anxiety, all the emotions, cry, all this kind of stuff. Basically, it's like a 10 out of 10 movie. And it's not. <laughs> My sister made this joke where it's like, Riley basically um, goes through puberty and survives and like, gets everything done with puberty done in three days. So inside out, it's like, okay, here you go, here's three days and puberty's done just like that, which is a funny joke. Obviously it's done just for the movie itself, but I just find it hilarious. Spoilers alert, but the journey to get to like the, that memory thing that trying to get the sense of self felt long and if, like, it like, wasn't bad, but it just felt long. And the resolution was then like that so quick. And I just, it's just thing, it was disappointing. Cause like even I got to a point where I was like, Okay, I'm starting to get emotional here. I feel like I need to cry. And then my sister said the same thing as well. She felt like she had to cry. She felt like, oh, I'm getting emotional, I'm starting to tear up. I should cry. Because it felt like there was this expectation to be, wow, okay, this movie is really good. This movie got me crying. This movie did anxieties and its joy, all the emotions really well. And it did, it was good. It's definitely not a 10 out of 10. My favorite part was the humor. The humor was great. Like that whole video game character, the, just the vault of forgotten or embarrassing memories, whatever it was, was really good. Then there's one last thing I wanted to mention. There was a girl next to me who was watching it, it seemed like she was there with her parents. She seemed like she was like 12, 13. And a number of times she would be like playing with her hair and looking at her hair, just playing with it like, and like, I'm like, something on the screen is like re happening and I'm really lacking, it's really good. What are you doing playing and looking at your hair? Why don't you like look at the screen and enjoy this movie? You could tell they were clearly not into it and couldn't care about it. And I'm like, girl, this is a good movie. This here, I don't think this is made for 12 year olds. I don't think it's made for anyone who's like under 15. I think this is made for 15 year olds and plus. Um, but at the same time, you know, I think it could have done a lot more. If it was made on an adult, certain, adult oriented, um, perspective, it could have been a lot more serious, it could have been a lot more, I don't know, focus on the emotions. But of course, it's an animated feature that's aimed for kids. In this case, I feel like it's aimed for teenagers. And I think people that are 15 to 18 will probably get the most out of this film itself. But nonetheless, I think it was a good movie. Here's a quick review of it. Inside Out 2, um, Surviving Puberty in 3 Days. Um, so, hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe go check it out yourself or be on Disney Plus soon. I would give it like an 8 out of 10. It's good. It just a few things just didn't hit for me. Um, I like the humor. I like the arcs, and everything was good. And oh, actually, the, when she was having the panic attack, some of the shots looked amazing, amazing, really good there. But yeah, nonetheless, eight out of ten for me. Thanks for watching, everyone, and until next time, I'll see us.